Hey everyone, it's the Dark Knight Admin, and this is my intro to admin prep. This is the start of a series that I've created to help prepare you for your admin test. Today is just a very intro uh, course to everything. We're going to go over some simple terms. What is Salesforce? What is CRM? All that fun stuff. And then our, when we pick up next week, we'll start with the actual test and all the prep for that particular test as well. So first things first, what is CRM? It's a customer relationship management. Um, it's software technology that helps you manage relationships, interactions with customers and potential customers. Uh, just so you know, Salesforce is a SaaS product. Um, and it's typically used to track deals, issues, collaboration. It does a bunch of other things as well. Those are some of the more common things that you might see in the test of what a CRM can do or what Salesforce can do. If you're in the healthcare space, it's where your patients and providers can also go to work and uh, you can track all that information there as well. So it's not just specific to sales. It can be used for just about any type of application that you can think of underneath the sun. A lot of people ask me, uh, what is CRM? I always say CRM is a lot like Lego. Salesforce is a lot like Lego. I like to build that strong foundation, then build upon it. So we want to build out our accounts, our contacts, all those core objects that Salesforce offers with us. And then we're going to enhance it with all the other cool functionality. So we're going to build all the other uh, tools on top of it. So uh, this is a picture of the app exchange. So Salesforce is one of those building blocks, and then we're going to build additional things on top of that platform to expand everything out. So yeah, this is just a quick little uh, session here where we talk about some of the terms that we may see in Salesforce. The first thing here that we will probably run across is an object. If you're wondering what an object is in Salesforce's land, uh, most commonly they would get referred to as accounts, contacts, cases, opportunities, custom objects. There's all these types of things that we can create. They're called objects. And if you're wondering what they are, if you're familiar with databases, it's, it's simply just a table. If you're more familiar with spreadsheets, you can think of it as, as a tab in Excel. So if you have multiple Excels, if you have a tab with multiple, if you have an Excel document with multiple tabs in it, um, each one of those individual tabs that represents a collection of records, that would be an object. Some of the other things you may uh, see is uh, apps. Apps are collections of tabs and uh, objects. They're typically used to support a business case. Here's an example you see is one here. I have the name of my app is Bat Class, and I have all the different uh, records, all the different tabs in there as a collection of objects. So I have my leads, my accounts, my home tab, my contacts, my cases, my opportunities. So an app is just a collection of different tabs and objects that are used to support a business case. If you're wondering what a record is, uh, if you go back to the example of a, a database, that's simply a row. If you are thinking about your Excel, that is one of those entry lines in your tab. So you have a tab and then you have all those rows. A record would be one of those rows. And it has all the fields and data points that you need for that particular record. Common question you might get is what is metadata? Uh, simply put, it's data that describes your data. It's basically all your configuration data, all the makeup of the org. So all the custom fields you create, all the objects you create, any of the custom code that you create, any of the automation tools that you use, so if you're using Flow, any of those things that you create that doesn't store actual data, that's all your metadata. So any configuration changes, that is your metadata. If you're wondering what multi-tenancy is, Every single Salesforce org is a multi-tenant, so that means that you sit on a pod and you share resources with other uh, instances. This is why we have limits on things so that you don't consume all the ABI calls in that particular pod. That's why we all have limits so that we can share the environment. I like to say, think of an apartment building. Uh, you don't want to be that person that steals all the hot water in the morning. Uh, we want to share those resources. So we put caps, on, Salesforce puts caps on things so that everyone can't uh, that one person can't monopolize or consume all the resources and everyone can share them properly. All right, that's the last of what I have to go over today. Uh, tune in next week where we start to kick off our All right, be sure to turn in next oh. one, two, three. be sure to turn in next week. turn. Be sure to tune in next week when I go over the next step in our program here for preparing for the admin test. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week.